Quick Add can be used to add any template or any piece of information into a page via a hotkey. So adding a task, go straight into the daily note under the daily lock. You go to settings, turn on community plugins if they're turned off, click on browse, look for Quick Add, install, enable, then go to options. And this is where it stores all of your Quick Add options. The manage macros button is only useful if you're going to add a macro, but I think most use cases use the template. I'm going to call the command template. I'm going to make sure it's selected on the template and then add a choice. I'm going to title the next choice capture, change template to capture and then add choice. Multi, multi, add choice. Macro, macro, add choice. The multi option when you go into the configure multi is just a rename. It's basically a folder. So at the moment we have four choices in the quick add plugin. So if we go to the command palette and look for the quick add plugin, you can see run quick add. When I click it, it will give me the four choices. If I go over to the drag handle and drag drag the capture into the multi you can see it's gone to the side I can drop it now I have the capture inside the multi I can click on the arrow fold unfold now when I go to the command palette and go to the quick add you can see we've got template multi and macro because if I click on multi we have the capture choice and then we can go back looking at the template option I can come into the templates add a template path inside of this vault I have a template folder and inside there I have a template example so it's called template but I have a heading that says example template and then a task inside of it so the path is template slash template because that's the folder and then that's the actual file so we have template path template template now I'm inside the daily note gone through the command palette to the template push enter now when I go into my main vault go to the command palette go to the template and push enter or click on it it asks me to name the template now this is creating a page with the template so test page, okay. Now it's created a file called test page because that's what I put in and it's added example template and task. If I middle click on the template page, you can see we've got the template, example template and task. And we've got the same thing inside of the test page because this is the template we've used. But if we go back to the settings, you can see we've got file name format set the file name format. So at the moment, we don't have any format in there, which is why it gave me that name box but if i take this on now i can set the name format automatically so i don't have to add the name of the file in by pushing the two curly brackets it gives me lots of options i will leave a link in the description to what these mean but basically you can add the date as the file name or add a value so you can still choose it but you can add your own value alongside other information that's in the file name so if we add the value and date you can see at the top of the box it says file name and then the date and what this is going to do is automatically add the date in but still ask me or the name of the file. The test page went into the root vault, went into the main vault, but we can add it to a folder by choice. So at the moment, we've either got the templates folder or the root folder, that's what the slash is. And now that I've made a notes folder, it will appear in the drop down. so notes and then push add. So now when I create this file, it's going to go into the notes folder. If I want to select the folder when I make the add, I can use this tick box and then it's going to give me a drop down of the folders I want, but I'm not gonna do that. So if we give that a test, it's still asking me for the name of the template because that's the value. Now when I push enter, it's created created the note that says second test and it's added the date so today's date in the file name and when we look it's used the template as well you can make it so that the file is created in the active folder so if you're in a page that's in a folder it can automatically go to that folder in my personal vault I just have one folder that says notes and I have it so that all of the notes that are created default to the notes folder so I don't need to add it to the quick add but you can also append a link to wherever that file is created in the file you're in so you can see I'm in the test page adding another page through template called third page and now it's automatically added a backlink to the test page that says third page and then the date even though it's been put in the notes folder and you can see it's there you then get the option to open the newly created file when it's created so you can open the file you can choose to view it in the source mode preview or default and the default is the settings you have in your vault so going to the editor tab you can see the default view for new tabs that's currently the editing view and live preview and you can create that in a new tab either vertical or horizontal so we'll leave that for vertical and we want it to focus on the new pane so we can either focus it or stay on whatever page we were originally on. So let's focus. So we're in the test page, activating the template, fourth page. Now it's created the link in the test page. It's opened up a new tab in a vertical window. So it's over the side and then added the template with it being in the notes folder. If we selected open horizontal, then it would have been down the bottom here instead of on the side. By pushing the lightning bolt, it adds this choice, this quick add choice as a command. So we have a multi choice, capture choice, macro choice and template command. Now I'm in the command palette and I look for quick add. We have the run quick add choices or the template 
command. The template is still in the choices, but it's also a command. And that means when I go to the hotkeys panel and go to quick add, you can see the template is there and I can add a hotkey to it. So we can push alt T. Now when I'm in the test page, I can push alt T on my keyboard and it brings up that window to add something else. Fifth page, added the link, etc, etc. The capture choice is probably the most versatile choice and the one you're going to use the most. You can capture any text into a file. In this case, we can click on active file. I'm going to make it a task. I want it to go down the bottom of the file. And just like the naming in the template, I'm going to add a custom format. And because I wanted a task, I can actually add the format in here rather than ticking this box. So dash space, square bracket, space, square bracket, space, double curly bracket, value. And let's turn this into a command so I can hotkey it. So we've got alt Q. Now I'm in the test page. I push alt Q, capture task. Okay. And now it's created a task block that I can tick and tick off that says capture task. Where this becomes powerful is if we don't capture to active file is we can now specify the path. So I've created a journal folder for daily notes and then I've added in the date that a specific format. So year, month, day, and that's the default date format inside of the daily template plugin. If the file doesn't exist, I want to create it and I want it to use a specific template. And because this is my daily note, I'm going to add the daily template, which is a template I've just renamed. And this time I want to insert it after something specific. So after the daily log heading, I wanted to add the task. It can either be at the top of the section or the end of the section. I'm going to leave it at the top. If for whatever reason the heading isn't found, I can create the line using quick add and put it at the top of the bottom. But because we're creating the page with a template, if it's not there, then that won't happen. And again, we get the option to open the file once we've created it. But in this case, I don't want to open it. So I'm on the test page and pushing alt Q because that's my hotkey. And before I even add in the capture point, you can see in the folders that it's already created the note. So I'm adding a new task and it's kept me on the test page. If I middle click on the note, you can see it's used the daily template, which just has a heading called daily log. And underneath the daily log, it's added the task. And you can see when I go to my personal vault, I have three different capture choices, which are actually commands because they've all got the lightning on and they do pretty much the same thing. They go to the journal folder, they look for the date, they use my daily template, they look underneath the daily log, but inside the custom format, I have another value. I've added task name after the value to give me a queue and I've given a priority. So now when I want to add a daily task, it says task name and then it gives me the queue. But once I've added the task name, it then gives me a priority level to go through. So I'm going to say high priority. And because I use the task plugin, it automatically recognizes that this task is high priority and goes to the top of my inbox query, which I shared about in the video up here. When you try and configure a macro choice, you're given a drop down. And if you don't have any macros created, obviously you can't select one. So you need to go to manage macros, name the macro and create one. Then you can run the macro when the plugin is loaded. So when you turn Obsidian on, but you actually need to configure a macro. So we go to configure and you can create a capture or template choice inside of the macro, exactly the same as we've done before. So if we create a capture, go to settings, we have the same options and the same for templates. But because I've used capture and template in here, these are specific to the macro and won't show up elsewhere. So inside of the quick add settings for these choices, those templates, the untitled capture and untitled template on here. But if I go to the settings and configure the macro, we have the test macro, which we can select. And obviously that's what we're going to select. Then back in managing the macro, we can then change and add things. We can add commands, which is anything from the command palette, so any hotkeys. We can add any editor commands, user scripts, which are essentially JavaScript files that you can put in, which are very complicated, or you can add choices from the quick add. So we've got the template choice that we've created and the capture choice that we created, but don't bother putting in a macro because then you end up self-referencing itself and it loops itself and you can crash Obsidian. So don't put a choice inside of itself. So if, for example, you want to use the template choice in the macro, we can then use it there, push add. Now we have an untitled capture choice. We have an untitled template choice, and then we have the template choice that we've created. Then we can run the macro and essentially do multiple quick adds at once. We can go through a template, a capture, a template, and capture, and go through a sequence. This is a shorter video included in my extended brain course, which goes through more nuanced use cases, workflows, and other tools that I use alongside of Obsidian such as Zotero, Morgan, and all the information is linked in the description below.